Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Adventure of a Lifetime episode. One more than the previous one. Yes. Um, today, we're heading to... I don't even remember where the hell we're heading. We're heading to the next town to go buy, uh, go shop. Yes, we're heading through the Podzel Sea to go shopping. Um, what the hell town is this? Prosper Town in the Podzel Sea to go procure some parcels. Yes, I'm going with that. And noink. Oh, shift. Okay, so... Um, nice, nice, nice. Appreciate the music. So we gotta do a couple things here. Um, first off, I guess, so the story makes sense and I don't get ahead of myself, we're gonna go talk to some guards over yonder. Um, yo. We, uh, we lost the key. Oh no. Oh no. These are the guard towers, citizen. Here we watch for any trouble from the sea and deal with it swiftly. The captain is at the top if you wish to stick to him. I do, I do, I must, I must. Alright, so let's see. Here, up the stairs. Um, Captain. One of these guards is all speed and dungeon. Mm. The captain ain't happy. Ah, here he is. I am aware of your quest to save the witches, but fortunately you can't go any further. The pirates blew up the passage to the sewer plant. Oh no. You can reach the plant from the color dungeon here. Hooray! If you can find the lost key. Oh no. So like you said, um so our next dungeon is the color dungeon. Yes, is the color dungeon. So, um unfortunately, the incompetent idiots lost a key, so we got to go Oh. Noise. I picked the correct chest. So unfortunately, um, so we have to go and procure a key. Now, I don't remember if it explicitly says where you have to go for the key, but um, I, I know where to go. But I'm, I'm curious if it'll explicitly tell us where to go. But this is the town to actually do all of our shopping. So I... Hoping to converse with some individuals. Not over here, obviously. I'm um, scoping out for extra coin because we will actually um, use up a great deal of our money on uh, this in in this town. So it looks like we've got plenty of stacks of cash. Yeah, all that side questing or all that side adventuring is actually going to pay dividends here. Looks like there's a cave back there. Oh, nice. More coin. So as I was saying, um, it didn't explicitly say where to go to get the key, but we will... Um, we will slowly figure that out. Oh. Never been in here before. I'm glad I was in here. Hell yeah. Um, so the tavern. I wonder, will this guy tell us? I oh, know. The key to the color dungeon has been misplaced. And that was the only way to get into the sewer plant. After the pirates blew up the entrance. Alright. One of the NPCs here is going to tell us who to go talk to. I love shopping. If you want to go to South Podsel Street, you're out of luck. The button that opens the gate has been stolen. Okay. Where... Which NPC tells us who done it? Who probably done it? The color dungeon is along this path. But there is no use, citizen. The key went missing. I bet that no good drunk who lives at the docks had something to do with it. Perfect. And that NPC is correct. The no-good drunk who lives at the end of the docks 
original, um, is actually the one who is responsible for our predicament. Um, why a drunk would want to steal a key from a heavily armed militia is besides me. The bigger question being, why wouldn't the guards just go and search? Welcome, stranger. What will it be? Rum. So if we come to the bartender here, we can actually get this rum. It was only it was less than I suspected it would be. So that's real good. So we'll go uh, fetch the key, and then we're gonna do a little bit of shopping here. Um, you know, better sword, a different gun, I believe I'm gonna get. Uh, armor, we'll actually get a, a an armor, a better armor here before the final boss. Before the final dungeons, I'm not gonna preoccupy myself too much with um, getting a different armor set. Although if I've got plenty of money left over, might as well. Priority number one is a better sword and a different firearm, though. So the yeah, drunkard asshole is around here somewhere. Hello there. Have you met my neighbor Francesco yet? <laughs> he will do anything for a free bottle of rum. Anything, you say? Okay, um... I thought this was where he lived. Fuck, house number two. Oh. Noise. Ooh. Nice. Which end of the docks is it? I wonder if he means... I promise you, I've beaten this map. It's just sometimes the details get lost. <laughs> is this it? Ah, yes. Yep. We're in the right place. Good lord, man. He's blazed out of his mind. Thank you. And like that, the color dungeon key. So now, it's time for every American girl's favorite pastime. Sopic. So I need to get a couple of things here. Uh, real quick. Tavern in. I don't give a shit about inns. Guns and ammo. Sword takes number one priority. Um, I think the sword shop... Over here. Yeah, there we go. Sports. Well, welcome there, Born Bird. Uh, if you're after any soil, I might have what you need. Click on gold. the display case to get some info on what I sell. Six. Okay, yeah, I want the void portal. There we go. Take that. Take that. Portal blade. I will keep this one, this sword around, because it gives me food. But the, uh... The void portal is... Actually, probably the best sword in the game. I don't actually know the answer to that one. But... It's the sword I'm gonna go with, so we're... Deal. Hey, sorry about the crates. Just got a supply of hand cannons. Short musket. Anyway, welcome to me store. Firepower Take two. Take a look at me wares. If you want any info on what I sell, just click on the display cabinet before you buy. Um. Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the short musket. That's going to have more stopping power, and then I'll... 
little bit of ammo for it, and we're good here. Yeah, now we're cooking with gas. There should be a meat market around here someplace. Ooh, what's this place? Potions and cooked meats. The Meat Mansion. Welcome, traveler. Don't care. I interest you in some potions, perhaps. Oh, all want some lonely meat. Put them all here on the spot. Yes, I will take the rest of my currency in your lovely meats. Perfect. The blunderbuss handy. Okay, hold on to that. I'll take that ammo, deposit that. I doubt I'll need the health boost. Alright. Shopping shopping has concluded. Now we can actually start making progress. So the color dungeon. I would say the color dungeon is honestly like half of a dungeon. Or like a, a quick dungeon, you know? Because it, it's going to lead you to the next big dungeon. So I, I'd say it's more of like an intermittent... Um, yes, I would say it's more of like an intermittent uh, area. Oh, this puzzle's fun. I actually, I actually showed this puzzle off in the trailer. So these three triangles have to match that. Two, three... I think this one's got to be red and blue. This is way faster. Oh, noise. Oh, this puzzle. I don't know if we've ever seen one of these before. Um, but basically, these shapes have to line up on this this has to line up with what's on the floor. So it's not so it's more of a puzzle um, push puzzle. Again, still no clue how the hell he makes these. So that matches that. Two. Actually, let's do let's put that one there. That's another straight line. Go there. Um, that goes here. Noise. Did I botch up the puzzle? Okay, that's correct, that's correct. I... What did I botch up? Oh, I botched this up slightly. Hold up. Now, if you're like me and you botch things up easy, that's, there's your reset button right there. No harm, no foul. You know, mistakes happen. Nope, that's just life. But, you know, you gotta learn from the mistakes. You admit you, admit you made a mistake, and, you, you know, you learn from it. Oh, this is so much nicer. I did most of the last game with the, I think it's the glass sword, which you can actually see in, if you watch closely in the trailer, the end slide, I accidentally took a screen cap with the detonator. Mimic. So if you look in the end slide, you can see that I actually accidentally took a picture with the glass sword. I think this is the final boss. But the glass sword I pretty much beat the whole game with. Solid weapon, but obviously this is better. And we're done. So like I said, it's really like a... a it's a transition period. It's a, you use it to transition from area to area, really. Hi. You might hear from the Commandant again. 
Yeah. If you find the detonator or mm. I accidentally left in the chest, I set some explosives on the wall up here. Oh. I realize I forgot the detonator. Ah. So if you have it, go and blow up the wall. I do. Then you can travel back to town. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I believe detonator go here. Come to. Aha. And there we go. There's Podzil Town again. Or no, Podzil C, Prosper Town. But if we come down here and you have your shovel, which I just keep the shovel on me at all times for in case weird stuff like this come up. So you actually get a pretty good stash of uh, just general ammo. Uh, Got to recoup some of my uh, Amazon purchases, if you will. And at this point, we're ready to go to the uh, to the power plant and uh, and clear the next dungeon. So I'm going to grab this, plop in. You know, I I want to I want to I want to sidetrack here briefly. Look at this. Look at how creative this all is. Like giant mushroom sea like i would have never thought of this just like the crazy combinations that Vic has come up with for this map is nuts like look at this power plant i'm sorry sewage plant like it's so cool you have done well to get this far thank you the pirates have locked Marcos, the third witch in the plant here take this key and enter the tower inside the tower you will find a lever that opens the dungeon here Good luck. I am going back into hiding. We will surely meet again. Okay. I never did look over here. Oh. Gross. You know, it looks like there's something over there, but I don't really feel like... I think I've sidetracked enough, and I don't actually need to anymore. Ooh, this puzzle. <laughs> uh, we have fun. I think I gotta go up. No, I didn't have to go up, but I still like going up. Free stuff. Ow. Oh, this sword did so much damage. But really, this is this is just a be no, this is just a beautiful, well-crafted adventure map. Like, and it's so varied too. Like we were before, like we were in the desert, and now somehow we've transitioned into a sewer plant. And, like, I wouldn't even bother questioning it. Like, that just seems like a natural transition in this map for me. It's so damn creative. Green Mist Dungeon. Alright, so the way forward is locked. So, uh, we're gonna have to don on some swimming gear to proceed. But... But uh, proceeding is going to have to wait until next time. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you've made it this far in the video, please do consider leaving a like. Please do consider uh, subscribing. For small YouTubers, it means the world. Trust me. But uh, when we come back next time, I think we'll just clear the dungeon. But that is until next time. See ya.